Hey guys, what's going on? It's Andy. I'm here today with my man, Luke Smith. Hey guys, check this out. This is gonna be a video that you guys have been asking about. So I do a lot of overcoming objections and role playing on videos. The reason why is so salespeople can actually watch another salesperson getting pounded on. And then guess what? He's gotta take the no and then overcome it. And what my goal is when you're practicing role play, okay, one of the biggest problems that a lot of salespeople find themselves doing is overselling, okay? And that's not what we wanna do. So why I choose and why I chose these 10 objections is because I wanna give Luke the objection and I want him to overcome it. But I don't want him to give me a giant story. I want him to have something tattooed on his heart where he can just fire back at me, okay? We're here in our lines, den. We've been traveling all week long, all around the country. Guys, it's gonna be a crazy month. We're on the road. I wanna tell you, now's the time to elevate your game. If you really wanna crush your competition that's asleep at the wheel, now's this time to do it. The next five years are gonna be ours. I wanna create the most elite salespeople in the country, but you gotta be able to handle objections. Blocking and tackling is crucial for salespeople. Remember this, objections are something that people will give you before they buy something. So an objection could be a stall, right? Like basically it really doesn't mean anything. I'm just trying to talk myself back out of buying it. And then the salesman's job is to go ahead and push the customer through to go ahead and purchase it. Or there could be a real objection and then you overcome it and you handle it, okay? So I got Luke here with me. Luke is gonna go ahead and handle these 10 objections that I've put here on the board. This is gonna be awesome. You guys are gonna love it. But also, I got a little bonus objection right here, okay, at the end. So I'm gonna have Luke run through all 10. At the end, I'm gonna hit him with the bonus objection. I'm not gonna say if he gets it right or wrong. I'm gonna leave it up to you. Give us a comment below. Let us know how well Luke does. Uh -huh. And here we go. All right, so here we go. All right, Luke, overcoming objections. We're gonna start out with number one. Hey guys, it's Andy. I hope you're enjoying the video. If you are, please like and subscribe below. Also, click on the link below. Join me in a free strategy session. I'd love to help you set up a game plan to crush it. Let's get back to the video. This is my first stop. Whether this is your first stop or your last stop, I'm just grateful to have the opportunity to help you buy a vehicle. You see, at our dealership, we're high on all the critical areas that are important to your family, such as trade-ins, payments, and price. So come on, let's see if we can find a vehicle together. I love it, I love it. Okay, all right, let's go to number two. This is gonna be, I just think the price is too high. So I'm gonna give you a scenario here real quick. One of the best ways to role play is to physically build a scenario, okay? So that one would be outside on the lot. This one would be inside, okay? Yes. We're negotiating inside. I'm asking for a better deal. And guess what? Luke knows I don't have a real reason why I need a better deal. I'm just trying you on for a better deal. Go. I just think the price is too high. Okay, so other than the payments, or other than the price, um, are the payments okay? Sure, the payments are fine. I'm not so, worried about so the payments. So the payments are okay. So the price, you just think the price is too high? Do you mind being more specific on why you think the price is too high? I just think it's too high. Hey. This is completely my fault. I didn't explain our pricing policy to you up front. You see, 90% of our customers want the best price up front. The other 10% still want to negotiate and haggle. You see, we find this completely dis uh, untrustworthy and disrespectful. You see, I don't just want to sell you a car today. I want to sell you a car for the rest of your life. If I were to mark the price up $3,000, we negotiate and haggle, go back and forth, and I lower the price $3,000. Is that trustworthy in any way? In any way? No. No. You see, so have I offended you by giving you my best price up front? Not at all. Perfect, thank you, sign here. Ah, Lukey boy, nice, okay. I'm just looking, I'm just looking, Luke. Okay, great, that takes all the pressure off me. The way I view it, it's sort of like dating. You don't know when it's gonna happen, but you have to make a move when you find the right one. So let's go see if we can find a vehicle you like together. What do you guys think? How's Luke doing? All right, guys, let's go to number four. I wanna make sure, let's set the stage here, let's set the scenario so he can understand it. I wanna make sure you're not taking advantage of my girlfriend. I'm sitting down, I'm the boyfriend, I'm the six month boyfriend, right? You know that guy, right? He's the six month boyfriend, he's sitting here, and he says, hey, let's say Luke presents the numbers to, to my girlfriend, and I'm gonna be the third party, I'm gonna be the second baseman, I'm gonna say, hey, hold on, man. I want to make sure you're not taking advantage of my girlfriend. Okay. 
Awesome. You're such a good boyfriend. I didn't realize that she had somebody helping her with her financial responsibilities. So today, will you be taking care of the down payment, the monthly payments, or both? Uh, well, none of them. Okay, I completely understand. So this is her car, and I want to make sure that she understands with her financial responsibilities that this is the vehicle that she's going to be buying to, or by herself today. Is that okay if I speak with her? Okay, all right. I got you, Luke. I got you, Luke. Hey, that one can be a little confrontational, right? We can tweak that one a yeah. tad. But his word tracks are spot on. There's some really good stuff that he said. We can pull that out, all right? All right, number five. Look, I need to think about it, all right? We're on the lot. Okay. I've checked the car out. You showed it to me. You just test drove it, you know, with, with me. Okay. And I get out and you trial close me. Go ahead. Okay. Hey, so will we be putting this loan in your name or both your names, you and your wife today? Uh, it's going to be just in my name. Okay, perfect. Awesome. So follow me inside. I'll get you a five minute proposal and we'll get going. Oh yeah, yeah. We're, we're, we're not ready for that. We're just, we just need to think about it. Okay, of course you need to think about it. I haven't given you enough information not to think about it. What I like to do is go inside and give you a five minute proposal of all the figures. So when you go home tonight with your wife and you're sitting down at the kitchen table, you truly have something to think about. Would that be fair? Sure. Okay, great. Follow me inside. Okay. Good job, Luke. All right, we're going to number six now. And, and by the way, guys, look, I want to talk to you about Luke for just a second, okay? I always like to talk about different levels of skill, okay? Luke has been in the car business for less than one month, okay? Less than one month. I want to explain this to you. Luke Smith has been in the car business for less than one month. Now, here's the deal. He's extremely smart. He obviously has put in the time to train. And guess what? When I'm hitting them with this, imagine how many people run around the lot in less than a month can't overcome a simple objection. When you do training, you start to elevate your game extremely fast. We're gonna keep going here, but I have a feeling just within the next week or two or three weeks or four weeks, he will gain more ground than a lot of salespeople will in years. We call this turning decades into days with new training, okay? So with that being said, as you're watching him go through this, keep checking him out, guys. For doing this less than a month, that's amazing. I'm just telling you, the fact that he has an answer, I haven't seen him get triggered and really get tripped up yet, and that's great, okay? So as he continues to grow, and even as I continue to grow every single day, and just like you, it is nice to see at different levels with our car sales nation, our group, our family, our tribe, we're rising to the top. This is awesome, man. All right, so number six, I'm working a deal with you, Luke. You present the numbers okay. and I say, hey, I, I don't have any money for a down payment. Okay, so you don't have any money down or money for the down payment. That right. is complete, that's, that's completely okay. So what we actually do is most of our customers at the store put the down payment on a credit card. So that way it's convenient for you to pay it off when you'd like to. You know, the banks like to see a little bit of customer participation to help with better rates and approvals. Okay, cool. So you get them to put it on a credit card. I love it, man. All right, number seven. Okay, can you give me the price? Oh, this is a good one. Customer's out on the lot and he says, hey, you know what? I don't just want a price. He goes, I want a price on all three of these cars. Okay, I understand, sir. So let me ask you this. If all three of these cars were the exact same price, which one can you see yourself owning? Because that's the price the car matters on the most. Okay, so probably that one. Okay, great. Let's go grab the keys this one, touch it, feel it, smell it, and see if this is the vehicle you like to own. Okay, good job, Luke. All right, with that being said, let's go to number eight. I just need to think this through. Luke, I just need to think this through. Okay, I understand. So on a scale of one to 10, with 10 being let's go right now, and one being I don't want it even if it was free, where are you at? Seven. Okay, so you're at seven. What would bring you to that 10? Um, I don't know, maybe a set of wheels. Set of wheels, you know what? We can, let's see if we can go get that taken care of for you. Follow there you me go. He keeps it moving forward. Good job, Luke. All right, let's go to number nine. Remember, I got a bonus one about to drop right here. Number nine, we don't need to test drive the car. This is a common one. I just drove one like it down the road. I don't need to drive this one, whatever. We, we don't need to test drive this car. Okay, I completely understand. A test drive doesn't have to be long, but is always necessary. Even if it's down the service road, turning around and coming straight back, we take lots of pride in servicing our vehicles, and that's going to be seen and felt when you drive it. So come on, hop in, let's just go right down the road. There you go, bud. He got the test drive going, 
That's the number one deal. I've watched managers throw salespeople through the window before for not driving a car, okay? So if that was ever something you have an issue with, I think what he said is great, I love it. All right, number 10, you are $1,000 higher than your competitor Okay. on price. Yes, we are $1,000 higher. And the reason why we're $1,000 higher is why we're high on all the other critical areas as well, such as payments, price, and trading. You see, great business doesn't work that way. We can't be the lowest in price and the highest in business. Okay, I like it. So we're saying, hey man, look, we are a little higher in price, but also we're higher in all the other critical areas that are important to you and your family, right? Yeah. And also we're great at a lot of other areas other than just the price, but we can't be the highest in business and the lowest in price, sir. Great business doesn't work that way. And then you can even follow through with, you know, hey, who wants the cheapest, right? I don't like cheap, no, do you? nobody, of course Right, not. and you came in today for value, value for the price. Yeah. Even if you got a little lower price, you can't put price in your driveway, but you can put okay. value. And this go. part, you're getting value for the price, yes. and we're taking care of all of these areas. So okay. you can follow through with it. Guys, we got a last little bonus objection right here, okay? Guys, I've got hundreds of these. Look, I could have picked any objection here for Luke, okay? And by the way, Luke probably had about 30 seconds to get prepared. I said, hey man, we're gonna shoot a quick video, let's go, all right? I'm physically taking Luke under my wing, I'm mentoring him, and we are taking him to an all new level. This is a guy who has not sold cars, who just got in, and is picking up on it really quick, he's putting in the work, he's paying the price in advance, and I'm telling you, when I say this, this is how fast somebody can shift and change and become great at something. So I threw these random objections up there. And by the way, he doesn't yeah. get on camera a lot. So Never. this is awesome for him in front of a camera. He's probably a little bit nervous too. Guys, he did a really good job. I'm really proud of him. What's up, yeah. hey, good job, man. There we go. Hey, hey what? brotherhood, listen, Heck yeah. I'm proud of him. Go Real ahead. quick, guys, there's nothing like between you and I that are different. It takes me a long time to actually learn something when I study it. When I first found Andy and I saw his word tracks, I, I bought his, his membership and I started writing all of these down. I wrote them down on flashcards and then I took those flashcards and I typed them in on a Quizlet and I tapped it on a Quizlet and then what I actually did too is I said the five objections, I did a video on my phone, did those five objections, right? Next video, next five, next video, next five and when I'm in my car, all I do is literally hit play on Bluetooth and listen to myself going through these objections over and over and over again. That's great. Yeah, repetition's the mother of skill, man. That's awesome. And by the way, I did the same thing when I was younger. So if you're wanting to go all the way to the top and kill it, guys, I'm just sharing with you, there's gonna be a whole new level for you. You just gotta go in and put a little training in. There's hundreds of these objections, hundreds. Over here, I've got a book with probably 360 objections in them and how to overcome them, okay? This is Luke's way, how to overcome them, just from watching videos and going in and doing your thing. Guys, I think you did a great job. Comment below, like the video, share it with somebody if it'll give them some help. But let's, let's go with the last objection here, okay? And this is gonna be a good one. This is gonna be, I want my dad to look at the car before I buy it, okay? So I'm sitting here inside with you, all the numbers are on the table, Luke, okay. all right? And I said, hey man, you know what? I, I, I wanna talk to my dad before I go ahead and buy it. Okay, I completely understand, but you already know what your dad's gonna say. He's gonna say that you need to buy a car today that you like. And you already told me out on the lot that you love it. So let's save you some time. And on top of that, your dad's gonna be proud of you for buying this vehicle on your own. Guys, what? That is awesome. Why? Because people need to make their own decisions. We don't wanna involve a father, a mother, a grandpa, a grandma, or anybody like that that's going to say, hey, you know what, Luke, why don't, why don't I just get back with you tomorrow? I'm gonna go talk to my dad tonight. And then guess what happens? That guy stops at another car dealership down the road and ends up buying, okay? That is a stall. And even if he bought from his last three times getting in touch with the father, guess what? He needs to make his own decisions, okay? Think about it, third parties, third parties, second baseman. You wanna keep him out of your deal? This is a deal between you and your customer. And every time you involve someone else, guess what? Then you involve someone else's opinions. And some people's opinions are amazing. I'm not saying I don't wanna involve a father. But listen, you're doing it at your own risk because sometimes, here's my deal, and so overcome the objection and move on. 
That way we don't have to mess with it. Some, some people are like, hey, you know what? Let's go ahead and call your dad and see what he has to say. But you call the dad and he's like, hey man, I got a buddy that works at another dealership. And I think, I think, you know what, what do they give me for your trade? Oh man, I get you way more than that. And then you know what happens? You blow your whole deal out, overcome it and move on. You don't get to pick what kind of father that this customer has, okay? It's not always gonna be a supportive one, and maybe that dad had a bad relationship with somebody at the last car lot, and that's not you, but he doesn't know that because he's not here. So he ends up treating you a little bit different, okay? And then he ends up blowing your deal out. So with that being said, guys, I'm really proud of Luke. Luke, good job, man, seriously. 10 objections. Comment below how you think he did. Here's what's important. When you're judging him, he's been doing it for under a month. And then lastly, the bonus round one, which is a tough one, I wanna, um, I wanna show my, the car to my dad before I buy it. That is a really, really tough one that a lot of salespeople get triggered on and say, hey, you know what? All right, hold on. Let's go ahead and call your dad. And then Pop says, yeah, no ways. Or you don't get a hold of dad. And then they're like, well, when I get a hold of him later, I'll get with you. Yeah, he just passed it. He said, hey man, I think your dad will be really proud of you for making a decision on your own. We know what your dad's gonna say. Your dad's gonna say that you're happy. You know, as long as you're happy with yeah. it, that's all that matters. Of course. And you already said you were happy with it, so guess what? Now we're gonna save you some time. You know, it's just really good. The words flowed out great. I'm really proud of them. Guys, have a great day, crush it. We're gonna be putting out a lot more role play videos and I'm gonna keep covering a whole bunch of different objections. Have a great day. Hey guys, congratulations on making it to the end of the video. Obviously you're the determined ones and you guys crush it, you're the one percenters. I just wanna tell you number one, I appreciate you and anything you need, reach out to me. If you're struggling with anything, leave a comment in the comment section below. I always answer all my own comments, I'll reach out and help you. Also, don't forget to set up a strategy call with me. It's free, it takes 20 minutes. You can click the link below too and you can join me. I'd love to help you make a game plan to crush it. Hope you guys have a great day.